kind of going. Just leave the very beginning, the very uh, front of my hair from getting any relaxant on it. So then I take my applicator brush and I part, make a probably about a fourth of an inch part all the way down. And then move it out the way. Then I start applying here just on my roots. And when I tell you, I have, like I said, about three to f about a good three inches of new growth. Now, this is every time I relax. So. And I just feel my way and then I work this side as well. I just get it in on that side. I'm not touching my skin. So I section that off. put the relaxer just on my new growth and I, I, I don't use gloves because I need to feel my way through so I don't like gloves because it uh, doesn't give me I can feel my roots basically and I've been doing this procedure for about 10 years and like I said I'm going to post some pictures of my hair before um, I started getting breakage which was waist length to then I have some bra strap length pictures as well so basically just have to do it awkwardly kind of like, like that but and what, one thing I do try to do is not let it kind of overlap into the other previously applied relaxer. So, looks kind of messy, but it really works. So, I'm gonna take my another thing I don't do a lot is comb in my hair. So. Take this apply it and as I mentioned to you it's been about 13 weeks since I've had my last texturizer or since I text lax last. And again, I'm gonna go over this section. And just put it on the root area. Don't let it touch your scalp. And you can feel your way through as you move it. Make sure it's just on the root area. And if you see like kind of translucent areas or relaxer. Just make sure it's moved out the way. So then I'm gonna continue and so just then come back. Part. part. Part and apply. Just to my root, nothing more. And I just bring it up. I don't want it to kind of overlap. No touching the scalp. Making sure that this is 
completely. Make another part. The key to it is making sure that you're not overlapping and that every strand of your new growth is has a relaxer okay, so to it. I've done this side and I'm kind of working quickly. I'm talking, but I am working quickly. Uh, got this clip that got stuck in my hair. So as I mentioned to you, I'm going to bring this side over trying to um, so avoid it overlapping. So I just keep it like this. Just not. And as you can see, I got a little bit here. I'm just going to take a towel and do that. And my edges, I hold for the end, the very end. So enough time for this side. Apply very touches to my root. Feeling the very tip where my scalp is. And I'm going to show you in the very end what the back of it looks like so you can see that I'm really not overlapping. I've been doing this for a while so I um I don't need any uh I don't need any uh mirrors back there. So I'm just gonna continue applying as close onto the new growth and avoiding the actual right here I feel that there's no relaxer there. So and again like I said you get a lot a whole lot more coverage when you do it vertically rather than horizontally. So just want to make sure all the hair is out of the way before I go to the next the next one, the next section. Just apply it in the middle where my most resistant part is and I'm just feeling my way through. Feeling my way through. So I'm just moving and as you can see I'm just going directly to the root the root area. I'm not applying anything on the scalp. I'm just feeling for my root. And then the back. going to section off another section of hair. And work my way. So I'm going to make sure this is moved out the way. As you see, I can, I've got some very resistant roots so anyway not resistant but I have very thick roots that have come through so I want to make sure every strand gets this relaxer just going down Like I mentioned before, the silk amino acids have given me some, um, bought me some time actually. 